why she pulled back and went cold. This is one of those questions that is always on a man's mind, especially if, to give you guys more context, you were talking to this one specific girl for X amount of time, you were extremely interested in this woman, you met her through mutual friends, met her on campus, from the sports team, at the cafeteria, at the gym, the list goes on and on. You were introduced to this woman from a source and you thought you know what i can see something happening with this woman i can see this going somewhere i could see myself in a relationship with her i can see myself engaged to her i can see myself married with children settled down living on a house here there x y and z right you start picturing all these different things and you're so heavily invested in this woman and you want it to work out so bad that you do things that push her away. You do things that inadvertently push her away, which means you're doing things that you believe to be attractive things, things that will make her like you more, make her fall in love with you even more. But what you fail to realize is that by doing these different things that you were most likely taught by society, by the Disney movies, the fairy tales, by your parents, your friends, siblings, uncles, aunts, whatever the case may be, you're pushing her further and further away. They're telling you, if you do these different things time and time again, if you chase after, if you text her a lot, if you check in on her, if you call her, show up at her workplace, talk to her parents, to X, Y, and Z, the list truly does go on and on. She will fall in love with you even more. And this is where the majority of men go wrong. Time and time again, I've done this in my own fucking life where I'm telling you right now, I'm talking to a girl. I'm extremely interested in her and to give you guys even more context, look, this shit will usually only happen with the woman that you are truly attracted to. She is, for you, that dime piece, that eight, nine, 10 out of 10. You want to be with her. This does not go for those women that you just meet, that you find somewhat attractive. You would love to hook up with them, but you don't really care too much. No, I'm talking about the women that knock your socks off the women that truly do it for you at the end of the day i'm talking about in the morning you can't stop thinking about her when you go to bed you're dreaming about her when you wake up the first thing you want to do is check her instagram you want to check her stories you want to shoot her a text you want to shoot her a phone call you want to do this this and that everything that you think about revolves around her even if you're trying your hardest even if you're red pillow wear, even if you're x y and z Everything you do revolves around this woman in your mind. Now, obviously, a man that's red pill aware, a man that has an understanding of how he must operate, how he must live his life, and is on the path to becoming the very best version of him, will know how to mitigate these different things and will know how to not get lost in the sauce, so to speak, of just you know allowing his emotions to take over and dictate his actions at the end of the day so to bring it back to the topic of today's video why she went cold why she pulled back why she lost interest why she doesn't want to be your girlfriend anymore why she doesn't want to be in a relationship anymore why she doesn't want to spend time with you why she's not returning your texts your phone calls your facetime calls your snapchats your dms why is she not sending you stories anymore why is she not sending you this this and that the list goes on and on once again the reason why this happens is because you are doing the most once again it goes back to what i said before what i said earlier about how you were raised what society taught you what your parents taught you your uncles your aunts your teachers siblings all these different individuals all these different people people all these different sources they're telling you to do the most to be present to always check in to always call to always text to show up at her doorstep to buy her flowers if she's mad try to fix that state of being try to make her happy you never want your girl to be upset you never want her to be sad even if it has nothing to do with you you are the one that must fix it you are the quote-unquote mr fix it in the relationship and this is what leads to women wanting less and less and less to do with you over a period of time over a long enough time horizon right it does not matter how attracted this woman is to you if you continue to do these different things i promise you in due time now it all depends on let's say if she's a 10 out of 10 attraction level towards you a 9 out of 10 attraction level towards you, you will have more time, you will have more room for error, but it's still going to end the same way. The only difference is it's going to take a lot longer for her to lose attraction, but it will 
happen in due time and it will come as a shock to you because you're thinking everything is fucking perfect off rip she was in love with me off rip things are perfect like i was doing nothing wrong every day she was texting me every day she was calling me every day she was facetiming me every day she was sending me snapchats keeping that streak alive sending me dms doing x y and z she wanted to see me after school she wanted to see me after class after work she'd bring me lunch she'd bring me this she'd bring me that want to work out together she'd want to just chill at my spot while i'm playing video games or while i'm reading a book or while i'm hopping on coaching calls you're doing all these different things and you think things are perfect but i'm telling you right now it happens when you least expect it, it happens over a period of time and the main piece of advice i want to give you guys is to not do things by the book understand that less is always fucking more with the women that you are interested in the women that are playing a major role a pivotal role in your life the ones that you are emotionally connected and attached to less is more with them you're thinking you have to do something in order to maintain her level of desire level of attraction intimacy the sexual tension the anticipation i'm telling you right now it's the illusion of action you think you have to do something to keep the fire going when at the end of the day less is fucking more and the best piece of advice i want to give you guys is not to apply some tactic not to act like you're not interested in your woman to not give her time and attention to be present with her to not buy her flowers or buy her food or do this and do that no i want you guys to spend time with your loved ones i want you guys to spend time with your woman with your partner but what i want you guys to understand is that you must not put your shit on the back burner and this is where most men go wrong the reason why they go cold the reason reason why women pull back 10 out of fucking 10 times is because the man in her life is only focused on her all his time all his attention all his resources go to her and he is not focused on the things he should be focused on at the beginning of the relationship as i always say what were you doing odds are you were focused on your mission you were focused on your purpose you were hitting the gym consistently four or five six times per week for an hour two hours three hours you're playing your sport hanging out with your boys partaking in your different hobbies passions interests you were doing different things you were living your life you were reading books going to the library going to the mall you were shopping taking care of your grooming your fashion your fragrances your hygiene you were that fucking guy at the end of the day and this is why she was extremely attracted to you but over time you said you know what I gotta make sure that she is the priority. I have to make sure that she always comes first. And as a result, you place all that shit that made you who you are. At the end of the day, the person that she became attracted to was that individual. But you put all that shit on the back burner in favor of her. And that's why she loses interest. She loses attraction because six months down the line, you're a completely different individual. At the beginning of the relationship, let's say objectively speaking, you were a 10 out of 10 in every aspect, every pillar. To her, you were a 10 out of 10. Body on point, fashion on point, grooming on point, scent on point. Everything was on fucking point, education on point. You were doing what you had to do as a man. That came first, your mission, your purpose. And as a byproduct, your woman was extremely attracted to you. But now over time, after a month, two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, now you've dropped from a 10 out of 10, objectively speaking, to now a 7.5 to a 7. And you have no idea, but she's losing interest. But you can tell, because now I'm going to point it out, you can tell by her taking longer to reply back to your text messages. Her not returning phone calls, FaceTime calls, not sending you a Snapchat, not sending you good morning texts, good night texts, not wanting to see you as often throughout the week not wanting to link up with you, not wanting to just come over while you play video games, while you do coaching calls, while you read a book, while you go for a stroll in the park. Now she doesn't want to spend as much time with you. She's losing interest. She's losing attraction. These are the different signs that you must watch out for. And it happens over time. It's not going to happen like this. It's going to hit you like that if you're not paying attention to these signs. But it's over time that this shit starts to build up. It's like a fucking snowball going downhill picking up speed picking up speed there's no stopping it it's done and the relationship has fizzled out the relationship is done and now you're coming to me wondering what the fuck did i do wrong 
Where did I go wrong? How can I fix this? What can I do? And it all goes back to you being focused on the wrong fucking things. I don't care who you are, what you do, how much money you make, where you're from, what your background is. None of that shit fucking matters. It's a fucking clean slate. This applies to every individual. I don't care if you're fucking Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, fucking Neymar, Derek Jeter, Alex Rodriguez, John Cena. Does not fucking matter, bro. It applies to every single individual. If you are this fucking person at the beginning of the relationship and you stop being that fucking person, your woman will lose interest. Your woman will pull back. She will go cold. And now you're going to be wondering, what the fuck did I do wrong? And it's very simple. Keep the priority the priority. Make sure you're locked in with your top objectives, your top priorities on who you are trying to become at the end of the day. That's why I always say self-improvement, personal development is a lifelong process, a lifelong journey. Yes, we will have different benchmarks, different things we are striving towards. But that doesn't mean once we get there that we're done. It means, okay, cool, I can check that off the list. What's next? But most men, when they get that girl, that beautiful woman that knocks their socks off, they're extremely attracted to this girl. It's their dream fucking girl, the one they've always wanted to be with. Now they're content, now they're satisfied, now they take their foot off the gas, they ease off, and they're chilling. I got the girl, I'm good, she's never leaving. All right, bro, keep thinking that and watch what happens. Right, so men, please take note. The last message for you guys, stay locked the fuck in. Who do you want to become at the end of the day? Where do you want to go? How are you going to get there? Focus on that each and every motherfucking day. Will women still lose interest from time to time? For sure, different things will happen. Life is unpredictable, but the majority of the time, the reason why your woman loses interest, the reason why she pulls back is simply because you lose focus. You stopped making the one thing the one thing. The one thing for you is not the one thing anymore. And she knows that. And that's why she's continuing to test you. She's acting a bit more bitchy. She's trying to move you off center to see, are you still that fucking guy at the end of the day? The one that she fell in love with. Because if you're not, I guarantee she will find someone better. She will find someone better. Because trust me, if she's an attractive woman, a woman that knocks your socks off, she has options with other men. And the best way to mitigate this from fucking happening is to focus on you to become the very best version of you and make this a lifelong pursuit. Never lose sight of that. Never lose focus. And I guarantee you will be fucking fine. You will be fucking fine. So, man, please take note. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. As always, follow me on TikTok, High Value Essentials. On Instagram, High Value Essentials. On Patreon, High Value Essentials. If you guys would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with your boy Chris, High Value Essentials, the link will be down below in the description box. You guys can sign up via Calendly for whether it be a 30-minute or four-week coaching plan. And with that being said, I look forward to speaking with you guys soon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.